Hi, my name is Dr. Rob Rosbrook from the Hospital for Special Surgery, and I wanted to talk to you today about limb lengthening surgery in children with congenital leg length discrepancies, and particularly Russell Silver Syndrome. We have a lot of experience doing limb lengthening in kids, and in particular, a uh, relatively rare condition called RSS. We work together with a, an endocrinologist named Dr. Madeline Harbison, who um, has world-class experience in the um, med medical treatment of children with RSS. Limb lengthening takes advantage of the principles of distraction osteogenesis, and uh, it includes three phases, latency, which is the time after surgery until the start of lengthening, distraction, which is the actual lengthening phase, which is typically done a mil at a millimeter per day, and the consolidation or the hardening of the new bone. Uh, this um, progression illustrates distraction with an internal lengthening rod. You can see uh, early bone formation and about half the length obtained. Here you can see it's at the end of full length, at the end of the distraction phase. Consolidation is then the progression of the bone healing, the mineralization, and the calcification of the bone until it's completely solid. When we evaluate children with LLD, or leg length discrepancy, we obtain long x-rays and do a variety of measurements, including alignment and overall leg length difference and segment length differences. Here's an example of a uh, young boy. Uh, please note that all patients who have uh, their faces shown um, have um, given permission, their parents have given permission to, um, to show their identity. Um, this young boy presented at age six with posteromedial bow. Yeah, this is a congenital leg length discrepancy that affects the uh, lower leg. He has an LLD of 36 millimeters and a predicted LLD of um, six centimeters. We can make these kinds of predictions with congenital uh, discrepancies using a uh, formula. Uh, the strategy is to do the half of the lengthening now and then to come back at a later time and do uh, the second stage of lengthening as a young teenager. The long x-rays uh, illustrate the leg length discrepancy with him standing on the block. This is typical of a posteromedial bow. The lengthening is done with an external fixator. He has open growth plates and um, you can see him uh, during the consolidation phase. The bone formation is um, progressing very nicely and he's just about ready to have the external fixator removed. Uh, he was quite active while he was in the fixator, playing ball, building, working with his physical therapist, but he was ready for the removal at the right time. And after removal, you can see the bone formation um, is great. Um, it's, it's, it's nicely remodeled. The leg is straight. He's out to length. And when he needs his uh, second lengthening in several years, uh, we'll probably do it with an internal lengthening rod. The next case uh, is an example of a uh, young girl, um, young teenage girl, age 13, with Russell Silver Syndrome. She presented with a 5 centimeter leg length discrepancy, equally divided between the femur and the tibia. I did this several years ago, and it was before the uh, internal lengthening nail was available. The plan was to lengthen both the femur and the tibia, about one each, one inch in each to obtain equalization of the leg lengths. There you can see uh, the early bone formation at the end of the and the bone formation is progressing. She's walking in her fixator. And once it's all healed, she's out to length with equal leg As a young adult, you can see she's doing quite well. And uh, it's quite amazing to see how well remodeled the bone is so that you can't even see this uh, two inch uh, limb lengthening when looking at her adult x-rays. The precise nail became available uh, several years ago and uh, this has changed uh, our approach to many of the limb lengthening problems. It's a telescopic magnetic operated device and there's a magnet within the the, um, the rod uh, that turns a gearbox that then distracts the nail. Uh, I'll illustrate it with this uh, example in a 16-year-old who has leg length discrepancy, pelvic obliquity, and a short femur. 
The rod is inserted through a um, small uh, opening in the uh, top part of the femur bone. The bone is cut, the rod is passed across the osteotomy. And a remote control device is then used to spin the magnet and distract the nail. Here you can see uh, about four centimeters of lengthening, progression of the consolidation, and once the bone is fully healed. Now I'll illustrate in this next um, patient example uh, how we integrated the use of uh, both external fixation and internal lengthening nail. This girl with Russell's Silver Syndrome presented at age eight. She was on human growth hormone and she had an LLD of four centimeters and a PLLD or predicted discrepancy of seven. The plan was to do uh, part of the lengthening in the tibia to equalize her current leg length discrepancy. And so you can see she underwent uh, lengthening of the tibia. This is just before the end of the um, consolidation phase and before the removal of the external fixator. The bone has remodeled and her leg lengths are equal. As expected, as a young teenager, um, she develops additional leg length discrepancy, two and a half centimeters, and we use the internal lengthening rod to um, perform the leg lengthening without the need for external fixation. Excellent bone formation and uh, treatment time till she was full weight bearing was only two and a half months. Uh, we have a significant experience in um, limb lengthening in children with Russell Silver Syndrome as well as um, general pediatric population. And uh, we compared the um, speed of bone healing in the RSS kids. And interestingly, it was, it was faster than the, the rest of the children. And we anticipate that that was uh, due to the use of um, human growth hormone, which is part of their medical regimen. So we've gotten um, excellent results with limb lengthening, both in the general pediatric population, but also uh, in children with Russell Silver Syndrome. Uh, this case example, again, uh, demonstrates um, the use of both external and internal fixation in a stage fashion in a child with Russell Silver Syndrome. Age eight, she presented with five and a half centimeters of discrepancy and a predicted discrepancy of nine and a half centimeters in maturity. Stage one was a femur lengthening using a rail as that was the greater discrepancy. It also predated uh, the use of the internal lengthening nail and the bone formation was excellent and that equalized her leg lengths. At age 14, she developed the uh, expected residual leg length discrepancy and this time we lengthened in the tibia using an internal lengthening rod. You can see the bone formation uh, and the consolidation and this is what it looks like when it's fully healed and her, um, her leg alignment looks great and her legs are out to length. For those that of you listening that are professionals, uh, I would recommend um, this as an additional resource for you. We published a uh, limb lengthening and reconstruction surgery case atlas, three volumes dealing with the gamut of uh, limb lengthening and reconstruction surgery. Thanks for your attention. I hope this has uh, uh, been uh, uh, helpful to you as an update on uh, limb lengthening surgery in children with congenital um, discrepancy and particularly Russell Silver Syndrome. Thank you.